Hello. This is Richard from the WordPress ERP team. In this video, I will walk you through the WordPress accounting tool. Let's start. This is the ERP dashboard. Now, let's go to the ERP settings. From here, you can configure the company start date, financial year, date format, currency and more. From the Accounting tab, you can import customers, set up currencies, and financial year. Next up, go to the Accounting module. Here is the Chart of Accounts options. From here, you can see all the system reserved accounts. Here is the chart of accounts options. From here, you can see all the system reserved accounts. You can also create custom accounts by selecting the type of accounts from the dropdown. If you want to create a bank account then select the bank from the dropdown. This way, you can include as many bank accounts as you want. Now, navigate to the users to create customers. Just click on the button, create new customers, and you will get all the necessary fields to create customers and vendors. Now, let's create a vendor the same way we created the customer. This time we will set up tax zones. Tax categories. Tax agencies. After having set these up, you can add the tax rate. Check the box, if you want to create a compound tax rate. If you have some due taxes to the agencies, you can pay them up from here. Now, we will create a product. At first, we need to create product categories. Then we should create a product. This time we will insert some opening balance into the system since we have just started using the accounting for the first time. You can also select the financial year for the opening balance sheet. While inserting the amounts, make sure to equalize both the debit and credit side of the balance sheet otherwise the system will refuse to take your amounts. With the bank accounts option, you can transfer money between the banks you have created just now. You can not only select any banks from the drop-down but also can specify the transfer amounts at your disposal. Now, let's hop onto the transaction option. 
Firstly, use the Purchase option to buy some products for your inventory. Use the Create Purchase option to create a payment voucher for your vendors. Now, use the Pay Purchase option to make payment for the voucher that you created. You have to choose a payment option to pay for the payment voucher. You can also use the Create Purchase Order option to create draft payment vouchers for future reference. If you want to insert any sale of your product, go to the Sales and hit the Create Invoice option. Now, it's time to receive payment. Select the customer from the drop-down and the invoice will automatically appear. Receive the payment by selecting the Payment option. You can also use the Create Estimate option to make draft invoices or quotations. Now, let's insert some expenses. Use the Create Expense option to insert expenses. You will be able to choose a payment option, payment account and other options from herein. Hit the Save button when you are through. You can also create check to pay bill to whoever you want. While creating a check you can also endorse the check to any person and select the paying bank of yours. Like creating a check you can also create bill. You can pay the bill at any time. To pay the bill you have to go to the Pay Bill option. From here, you will be able to select the payment method and the transaction account too. If you understand the debit and credit well, then you can use the journal option to enter transactions into the system. However, while inserting a transaction using the journal you must equalize the debit and credit using correct accounting types. Hit save after entering each transaction. Then, navigate to the Reports option to see Trial Balance. You can use the Filter option to view the data for different periods. Next up, go to the ledger to see the latest balance of an account. After that, jump on the Income Statement to see the Net Profit, Total Income, and Total Expenses. Then go to the Sales Tax option to view the amount of sales tax. To generate this report you have to pay some sales tax. Finally, use the balance sheet to get the view of the financial condition of your business on a given or filtered period. You can also close the balance sheet from here. Now, pay the sales tax to the tax agency. Then you will be able to view the sales tax report. Here is how your dashboard will look like. Managing accounting is easy with WordPress ERP. 
Grab the accounting tool for your business now.